Welcome back again to our evening broadcast of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 8, The World of Falsehood. In Book 2, The Book of the Travel of the Worlds. We are through verses 175 through 180. A lying inspiration fell and dark. A new order substitutes for the divine. A silence falls upon the spirit's heights. From the veil sanctuary, the god retires. Empty and cold is the chamber of the bride. The golden nimbus now is seen no more. No longer burns the white spiritual ray. And hushed forever is the secret voice. Then by the angel of the vigil tower, A name is struck from the recording book. A flame that sang in heaven sinks quenched and mute. In ruin ends the epic of a soul. This is the tragedy of the inner death. When fortified is the divine element, and only a mind and body live to die. For terrible agencies the spirit allows, and there are subtle and enormous powers that shield themselves with the covering ignorance. Offspring of the gulfs, agents of the shadowy force, haters of light, intolerant of peace, aping to the thought the shining friend and guide, opposing in the heart the eternal will. They veil the occult uplifting harmonist. His wisdom's oracles are made our bonds, the doors of God they have locked with keys of creed, And shut out by the law his tireless grace. Along all nature's lines they have set their posts, And intercept the caravans of light. Wherever the gods act, they intervene, A yoke is laid upon the world's dim heart, Masked are its beats from the supernal bliss, and the closed peripheries of brilliant mind block the fine entries of celestial fire. Always the dark adventurers seem to win. Nature they fill with evils, institutes, turn into defeats the victories of truth, proclaim as falsehoods the eternal laws, and load the dice of doom with Wizard lies, the world shrines they have occupied, usurped its thrones. In scorn of the dwindling chances of the gods, they claim creation as their conquered fief, and crown themselves the iron lords of time. Adepts of the illusion and the mask, the artificers of nature's fall and pain, have built the altars of triumphant night in the clay temple of terrestrial life. 